Hi, this is Carmen Balber with KTRU TV. We're here today in Hancock Park, where a protest has gathered behind me against Proposition 32 and 33. Let's go find out what these protesters have to say about these measures on the November ballot. Proposition 33 is Mercury Insurance Chairman George Joseph's attempt to raise rates on good drivers in California. And uh, what do you think about that? We think that we should vote no. Hey, hey, ho, ho. A billionaire bully's got to go. Can you tell me what you're doing here today? Yes, I'm here to oppose these billionaires trying to buy changes in the California laws and statutes. I'd say vote no on Proposition 32, vote no on Proposition 33. Why would the big insurance company billionaires want to put a consumer protection proposition on the ballot in the first place? Um, I hear something going on here. I'm not really sure what it is. Thank you, Are you getting this? Follow me. Four billions. Billions. It started out as a protest, but it sounds like these propositions are back. This is unbelievable. Can you tell me what's happening? It's these zombie propositions. They just won't die. They come back year after year with different names, different numbers, but they're all the same. The insurance company's trying to raise our rates. Ah. How do they keep coming back? Billionaires, corporate interests, like $22 million from this guy, Charlie Munger Jr., uh, $16 million from the Mercury Insurance Chief. They, they just put the money up so that they can get it on the ballot, come back, and try to take our money. Ah. Ah. They don't know how to just go away and stay dead. Is there anything people can do? Well, we can vote for our lives. That's what we can do. We can vote like our lives depend on it. In fact, folks, stop running. Surround them and vote no. Surround them and vote no. The only way to stop these zombie propositions is to vote for your lives. This is what they're saying. Vote for your lives. Carmen Balder, reporting for K-True TV. I, I, I think we killed him. I think we killed him. <laughs>